Hello everyone and good evening. Thank you for taking some time out to watch our live show at Humibox Facebook. My name is Emilia Wang. Today I would like to share some info regarding vertical grass for erosion control. In our country, Malaysia, with high rainfall throughout the year, it's common to have soil erosion problems, especially during the raining season. Erosion is something we cannot take it lightly as property are damaged, causing not just financially loss, but precious life as well. As you can see, this is the damage at housing area, highway, even in the plantation or in the farm. When erosion happens, you don't just lose your plant or crop, you also lose the land that can be used for planting. And this is a huge financial loss in long term. Currently, there are many options being used to control or prevent soil erosion control. These are some of the methods where canvas are used to temporarily slow down the erosion. Or sandbag is filled to act as a stopper to slow down the erosion. However, they will not last long. Or some even use rock which call gabion. For, but this is a massive, con massive construction and if it was not done properly, erosion will still happen at the upper area. Here we would like to introduce an alternative using vertebra as a unique grass for bioengineering ways to prevent soil erosion. What is vertebra? Vertebra original from India, its scientific name is Vertivaria zizoinides or Chrysopogon zizoinides, commonly known as vertebra. It is widely distributed in tropical and subtropical areas. Why vertebra? What's so, special to, what's so special about vertebra? Today, I would like to emphasize on six characteristics of vertebra. Firstly, vertebra had a dense, deep root system. Its roots can reach 8 feet long after 3 months. Of course, this depends on your soil type and soil condition. Secondly, this plant is a perennial plant, meaning that it is it lasts for long term with continuous growth. You don't need to waste time and resources to do replanting often. <clears throat> Thirdly, their root binds strongly to soil, which is ideal to prevent soil erosion. Fourth, it tolerates difficult conditions like drought during dry season and flood during raining season. Fifth, Vertebral flowers are sterile, therefore you do not need to worry about this grass being spread by wind or animal to other areas and become weeds problem. Finally, this plant has no stolen or runner, it will not become weeds. It also helps to keep the hedge dense and tight. So, how to use vertebral for slope erosion? For best result, Vertebra should be planted in line to form parallel hedges along the contour line of the slope. Or you can plant at the edge of the slope, forming a first defense point to slow down the water runoff from causing the soil erosion. This will encourage natural terrace to form behind hedge growth. These are some of the planting that have been done in a few area example at the side of the pond. After one and a half year, it had been established. With the vertebral hedge grow around the edge of the pond, it collects the runoff and prevents shallowing. And also it can be planted along the drain to prevent drain shallowing. Humibox have, Humibox have been supplying vertebral seedling for more than 10 years in Malaysia. Our Humiverti seedling are planted in soilless media, which are pest-free, we establish roots that are able to survive directly planting to the slope or field. Our vertebral is packed in the carton of 200 seedlings that can be easily sent by courier or transport by normal vehicle. 
Therefore, it is easier for the planter or worker to handle them. You can use special sharp tools and hammer to make a hole on hard soil. Or you can just sharpen the edge of a wood to make a hole. Then place our humivity, humivity, humi, humivity seedling into the holes and cover with soil and the planting is done. However, standard maintenance are required at initial stage for fast establishment. These are some of the photos of the vertebral planted along highway. After one month, you, the plant, vertebral plant seedling have grown. This is the picture after three months later. You can see also at Laboraya plant the highway along Pantai Timo, where the vertebrae are planted above the gabion. That's all for today. Feel free to contact us if you'd like to find out more, or you can drop us a message over Facebook and we will get back to you. Thanks and good night.